Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Enjoy the relaxation today because starting tomorrow it's back to business. Well, as business-like as one can get on a ski slope, the Vermont Killington Cup kicks off tomorrow. Starting Friday at 3 p.m., the Festival Village opens. The first musical guest, 220 Kid, will perform as well. And then on the weekend, it's all about the skiing. On Saturday, we'll see both giant slalom runs and Sunday is for the slalom. Unlike last year, the race course conditions are expected to be great. Here's what you need to know about the events. Tickets are just $10 a day and will be available on site. Parking is free with shuttles bringing people to and from the mountain. If you're one of the 30 to 35,000 people expected to attend, you'll be able to cheer on the winningest alpine skier of all time. That's men or women. And of course, it's Michaela Schifrin. UVM grad Paula Maltzen will also be racing and the reigning Killington Cup giant slalom winner, Swiss skier Laura Gutbarami will be skiing. Killington's communications manager, Kristen Killery, Crystal Killery rather, spoke with me about the upcoming weekend. What we're most looking forward to is just welcoming the crowds back. We love the energy that the um, guests bring to the to the event. I think they make this event. Like, yes, we do all the work ahead of time, um, but the crowd makes this event. Um, if you've ever been to this event before, they don't care who the racer is, where they're from. They cheer just as loud for every single racer that comes down. I'll be on site and have full coverage of the Killington Cup this weekend. We find Taylor today in Killington for our coverage of day one of the Stiefel Killington Cup. He'll be at the resort all weekend and he brings us our coverage right now. Killington's Festival Village opened at 3 p.m. and some of the 30 to 35,000 people expected to attend the weekend's events have begun to make their rounds at the different pop-ups. And people are here from all over. I've come from Wales, so we're here representing Great Britain. Evergreen, Colorado. We're in New Hampshire. Uh, we're from Massachusetts. I come from Arizona. Many of them here to see one particular skier. To see Michaela Schifrin ski, because <laughs> like I'm a big fan, so that'll be fun. She skis phenomenally, like no one ever has. Schifrin's always a classic. Yeah. I don't know if she's yeah. racing this year. I don't know. She is? Oh, oh, Schifrin. That's right, Michaela Schifrin is back for her seventh Killington Cup. Five of those years resulted in a slalom win for the Burke Mountain Academy alum, but last year she was defeated. Winning in front of this crowd as an American is one of the highlights of my career, and um, I can't, I can't get enough of that. Like, it's the most incredible, incredible experience. So I do want to improve on my results last season, absolutely. Schifrin is already the winningest alpine skier of all time for either men or women. But if the 28-year-old can win this weekend, it would be her 90th in competition. But she's being realistic about her chances this year. To be perfectly honest and frank, I am not sure that my skiing is in a position where I will uh, win either race this weekend. That's not really comfortable to say because my whole goal in life has been to set myself up with preparation to be at least a contender to win any race that I start. But um, because of the crowd, because of the people here, because of, of Killington and, and competing in front of the home fans and all of the vibe and the atmosphere, like I'm going to put everything I can into these races because because it's so, so meaningful and it's so personal. Although many eyes will be on Schifrin this weekend, there's plenty of other skiers to watch, including UVM grad Paula Maltzen, who ranks 16th this season, the closest American to Schifrin at one, and Swiss skier Laura Gutbarami, who won the giant slalom at last year's event. Skiers say the conditions are perfect for this weekend. In Killington for sports, I'm Taylor Viles. It's giant slalom day at the 2023 Killington Cup. Hey everyone, I'm Taylor Viles. Besides it being a little bit chilly today, it was the best conditions it could have been for the best women alpine skiers in the world to compete. Let's get right into the action. 66 skiers went through the start gate during the first giant slalom run, but only the top 30 qualify for the second run and a chance to podium. Notable Americans to qualify were fan favorite and Burke Mountain Academy alum Michaela Schifrin, UVM grad Paula Maltzen, and AJ Hurt. For Hurt, it's her first time getting a second run in a U.S. World Cup GS. 
21-year-old Alice Robinson representing New Zealand came out on top in the first run, and veteran Swiss skier and reigning Killington GS winner Laura Gutbarame was also top five. In round two, Molson got the crowd to its feet with a great run to take the lead halfway through. It held for five skiers, but then Austria's Julia Scheib overtook her. It wouldn't have mattered. The last five to go are the best for a reason. The excitement is palpable. Canada's Valerie Grenier takes the lead. She holds for one skier, but then it's Schifrin's turn. The 89-time World Cup winner puts on a show, vaulting into first place by over a half second. But even that's not safe. Gut Barami handles these Killington slopes for these once again, taking nearly a one-second lead on Schifrin. That's enough for the 32-year-old to win her second straight GS at Killington. Robinson slides into second place, and Schifrin makes the podium in third. For Gut Barami, it's her 39th career win. It's hard to say it's a habit, but it's nice to, to be able to do that again. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm skiing, with my GS. I'm really feeling confident on the skis. Uh, today was pretty much an adventure, um, a mental adventure, and I'm, act I'm really excited. I was able to feel some of some of my best turns, some glimpses in my skiing that I, I was able to do consistently last year, so I'm, I'm pretty psyched. It's pretty an amazing feeling to come down with the green light and this crowd cheering you on. And the slope conditions here are phenomenal, so um, I couldn't ask for anything better to happen today. That concludes the first day of World Cup racing here from Killington. I'll be right back here tomorrow to bring you all the action from the slalom. Yes, that's Michaela Schifrin's best discipline. We'll see if she can pick up her sixth slalom win here and her 90th career win in the process. For now, though, that's going to do it for me. Reporting from Killington, I'm Taylor Viles. Hey, everyone. It was the final day of the 2023 Stiefel Killington Cup. Yesterday, saw Swiss skier Laura Gutbarame win the giant slalom She's not going today. Michaela Schifrin, the only skier with a chance now to podium on both days. And this, her best discipline, the slalom. These Killington crowds continue to impress. 18,000 took in Saturday. Today, the mountain saw 10,000, a three-day total of 34,000. Lena Dürer of Germany led off the first run with an impressive 48.46 seconds. That was followed by Killington's reigning co-slalom champion, Wendy Holdner just behind, but then the cheers grew as Schifrin's name was announced. The 28-year-old is in search of her 90th career World Cup win and sixth slalom win at Killington, and her first run is just what she needed. She crossed the finish line 19 hundredths ahead of Door and in first place. Her American teammate and UVM grad Paula Molson snagged sixth place, putting her in a competitive position for round two. Those skiers, of course, going at the end of the 30 qualifiers. The competition was close. Midway through round two, the top spot was overtaken several times by just hundredths of a second. Jumping to the final group, the Maltzen fan section was loud, and so was the rest of Killington. For the former Catamount's final run, she secured eighth place. It's her second top 10 finish of the weekend. Holdener jumps into first place by nearly four tenths over Italy's Marva Rossetti, who's Lead it held through eight skiers, but then Slovakia's Petra Mohova does what she does best. The 28-year-old overtakes Holdener by over a second and puts all the pressure on Schifrin. So here we go, the greatest alpine skier of all time, man or woman, with a chance for win 90, which would break her own record. And did you have any doubt? To cheers of USA, she beats Filhova by 33 hundredths and is back on top at Killington. Filhova takes second and Holdener was in third. Really amazing weekend actually and again it was just spectacular to race with this crowd and the energy here. Um, the track was so much fun to ski for both yesterday and today so a lot of things had to come together today for me to end up getting on the top step and I'm so thankful that it happened here of all places with this crowd and this energy. With her third place finish on Saturday this was Schifrin's most dominant weekend at Killington ever.